Hey guys, Skarnon here and welcome back to my channel today. When a video game was being created, the developers tried to make a lot of concept art to really convey their ideas and show others what they really want their game to look and play like. And Destiny was no exception to this. Obviously, all ideas that are created within the concepts of the game can't make it into the final version, so I thought for today's top 5 we would go and look through the concept art for Destiny, and I would choose my 5 favorite ideas or concepts that seemingly haven't made their way into Destiny yet, or never will. If you guys are interested in seeing all of the concept art, including the stuff I do not cover in this video, you can click the link down in the description to be taken to a website that I found that has all of Destiny's concept art. But without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and get into this week's top 5. Now in the number 5 slot, I have a concept art of the early stages of the Traveler. Now obviously this really isn't even that close to what the Traveler looks like now, but it seems like that this design was really pushing the idea of the Traveler being a giant machine. Now within the story of Destiny, we do hear it referred to as the Great Machine or the Machine multiple times, but you can't really tell that by looking at it in game. It just kind of looks like a random ball that floats in space. So I think that the design in the concept art really conveys that idea much better and I also think that it makes it look like it has seen much more war and conflict than it looks like in the game right now. But the one thing about this that really, really intrigues me is that it looks like these ships are flying to and from the Traveler, meaning that it would be a playable location in the game. I think that this would have been a great addition to the game of Destiny. You know, being able to go up to this thing that we're really fighting for, uh, seeing what's inside of the Traveler, seeing what makes it tick, I think that would have been awesome. Maybe even having a couple of missions where we have to defend it from the Fallen. I think that all of these things would have been a fantastic addition to the game, and I really hope we get to explore it more in the future. Next in the number 4 position, I'm going to put the idea that the last city would be a playable location or that the tower would have more regular humans walking around it. Now there are a couple of people in the tower who seem to be regular people and not guardians. Uh, people like Eva Levante or Tess Everest, you know, they don't really exhibit anything showing that they can control the light or anything like that. But I do have a feeling that having more of these humans in the tower would make it feel more alive. So we do have a couple people just standing around the edges and stuff of the tower, but they don't really interact with you. Imagine walking through a crowd of people and they're all kind of like awestruck at your power. I think that would be so, so cool if they were making ambient comments and remarks and stuff about your character as you walked through a crowd of people. I think that would be awesome. Plus having the last city as a playable location would be really cool as well. Just seeing what is left of the human race, what's left of Earth. Just imagine having a mission where we actually have to defend that city like at a uh, Twilight Gap kind of scenario or something like that. I feel like this kind of mission would really add weight to what we are fighting to protect within Destiny. Now in the number 3 slot, I'm going to be putting the concept of having more wildlife in the game. Now in these concept arts, we have multiple instances of this happening. So first off, we have what appears to be the early design of the Fallen riding on a giant frog. Now imagine how scary the Fallen would be if they just leapt around on giant frogs all the time. That would be terrifying and something I really hope comes to the game in the future because that's pretty awesome. Then we also see concept art of a guardian with a tiger. Now I'm personally not a fan of the idea of having pets in Destiny, but tigers are still pretty cool. And finally we have a picture of a horse in a camp of some type. Now, like I said, I'm not really advocating for the idea of having pets in Destiny, but I think having more wildlife and wild animals in the game would help the world feel more alive than it already is. Imagine being on Venus and just having a giant frog leap out of nowhere, or being on Mars and seeing some type of snake, giant snake, or, uh, or scorpion or something like that, you know, walk across the desert. I think that these things would be really, really cool to Destiny. Maybe not make it so we can kill them or anything like that, but have them so they can interact with us in some way. I think that would be really cool and a great addition to the game. Next, we have the runner-up slot for this video. In this one, I'm going to be putting the idea of an ice planet or location. So in some of these concept arts, we can see an icy planet with Jupiter in the background. So that means that the location that they are showcasing is actually the moon of Jupiter, Europa. Now, it's not uncommon to think this. Uh, Europa is a very, very big part of the lore, so it makes sense that it would come back to the game at some point. However, it's not as much as the location as it is the environment that intrigues me. The Plaguelands kind of does this a little bit, but not to the extent that I want. I want just pure ice, snow, white and blue everywhere. I think that would be so cool. 
and it's something I'm really looking forward to them possibly having in Destiny 2. Now, I know this is a topic that quite a few people are torn about, so let me know down in the comments, do you guys care if we ever get an icy location or not? You know, is that something you want to see in the future? Like I said, just let me know down in the comments. And finally, we have reached the top spot for this video. For this one, I'm going to be putting the concepts of a moth race of enemies. Now, this race is actually kind of a mix between moth and humanoid figures, and it's something that I've spoken about before on multiple instances. Now, some people believe that this is what the hive race becomes when they don't take on the worm, but it is possible that they are in fact their own individual race as well. We don't really know that much about them. Now we can tell from this original piece of art from Destiny that they were going to be one of the five major factions in the game. In addition, we can see pictures with huge amounts of detail describing their growth phases and what the different genders of this species look like. In addition, we see what might be some of their ships in space to the pyramid figures. Uh, it kind of lines up to the triangles on the concept art for the major factions. So that leads some people to think that this is actually that race and not the hive going through space. Now, I think it's a really big shame that these didn't make it into the final cut of Destiny. And I'm really hoping we get to see them in the future expansions of Destiny because who doesn't want to shoot moth people? That's just freaking awesome. They look really awesome in these pieces of concept art. And it's something I really hope we get to see in the future. So that is going to wrap up this week's top five. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating. Remember, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So every time you share this video with your clanmates or your friends, it will help out. Plus, I'm confident that a lot of people will find the content of this video really, really interesting because it is stuff that could possibly be brought to the future of Destiny. If you are interested in watching the video on screen, you can click the annotation to be taken to it. Finally, subscribe for more awesome Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.